Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna check out Divi Mobile for all you Divi builders out there. So what it does, it gives you the ability to create really nice looking menu with a little bit more flow than what Divi gives you out of the box. Now you can create nice looking uh, menus on Divi, but they don't flow as good as this one. So I wanted to show you guys, now you can grab it right now. One side is 12, two to five sides is 36, and unlimited is 64. Now if you want to lose, use it for a lifetime and get up lifetime updates, you can buy the unlimited for 196. All right, let me show you what it's capable of. So right now I got my site right here and you can see I got the mobile, the Divi mobile right here installed. And if I click on it, we have a nice flowing menu. Now, how did I get to do this? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. First thing I did obviously is install Divi mobile, but to get access to where the editor is, you must head on over to appearance and you gotta head on over to customizer. And that is where the Divi Mobile editor is. Now, if you guys want to grab the deal that's going on, check out the link in the description. So right here, we got the menu right here. So it's Divi Mobile. And let's just wait a little bit for it to load and it's going to load our page. Here's the Divi Mobile right there. And first thing we're going to do is menu style and settings. All right. So one of the things I did is that Divi Mobile is meant more for like, uh, obviously mobile, that's what it's called, but I actually set it up so it works on the desktop also because I like how it looks. I don't like the normal one that, look, that looks from, from Divi, right? So I set right here, we can select desktop view, tablet view, and the way that I set it up to work on desktop is that I expanded this. So the Divi Mobile breakpoint is at 5,000 uh, pixels. So that made it look there. So if, if I remove it, See, it's gonna remove the the built the menu right now. Check it out. Oops, even smaller. Let's wait for it to load. And there, it's gone. So if I had the normal um, menu, it would pop up there. So let's bring it back. And you got a couple of options. First thing is select the menu that you have. So you got the default menu or you, one of the ones that you created. You got the menu expand from a shape, which I'm using right now, or you can use a menu appear from the side of the screen. So if I change that, you're going to see how this views. And the reason that I'm going through these options right now is to show you that how it's going to look if you change the options. So you can see now it's coming from the side. See that right there. So it looks much better than what you have built into Divi, right? And there's a whole lot of things that you can do with it. Also, you got the bottom navigation. So let's wait that for that one to load. All right, so now you got this type of navigation. Can you see this? Uh, it, obviously, the, the, the site is in Spanish. Sorry, guys, I clicked on it. I shouldn't have clicked on it, so it didn't go there. All right, so let's keep the menu. Oh, I want to keep it the way it was. Menu expand to shape, all right? Let's keep that one. And if you want to keep a fixed menu, you can do that or remove it. So if you scroll up, it's going to go away with it. So right now, if I scroll up, the menu stays there. Can you see that? But if I remove the fixed, it's going to scroll, it's going to go away. So we're going to keep it like that. Let's go back to more options right here. Next thing we have is a custom header. So in this case, I am using a custom header. And what I did to get this view is that in the DV option, no, sorry, in the page option for WordPress, I put it to set to a blank page, not default theme. So it removed the menu completely and I created my own. So I take control of the header. I put the logo, I could change the header height, I can lo logo max height, I can change that information. I set it to background so there's no header right there, but if I had a header, it would change. Click away from it. Oh, there we go. So there's the header, I'll keep it transparent because I wanna keep it that way. Um, you got more, more options right here for the header, all that, header, background, shadow, color. Uh, fixed menu on scroll, I said it was fixed. If you don't, it just scrolls away. And you got the logo settings, so position. Do you want to give it some padding to the left, some spacing on the right, on the top? Do you want to show the cart uh, our cart icon? In this case, I'm not using WooCommerce. It's not a sales page. But if it was, I can show the icon inside the menu. So you can have that there. Also, the search icon. I think it's pretty annoying, but you can have that there. And set the color for those icons. All right, let's go to more options. We got the choose burger option. So in this case, we have it set to the right. We can set it to the left also. We can use the spin or arrow. What it does is, for example, we got the spin. So if I click on the menu, it's going to spin. See that right there, the little X, top right. It's spinning. So we have a, a bunch of available options right here that you could change right here if you want to make it look different. 
You got burger menu animation style direction also. In this case, I have uh, normal. You can do reverse. Burger menu general, so header height. You can ch change the size, uh, the spacing from it, the size, the, the, the lines from there. Like this is from the edge and all that good stuff. Burger icons. So the burger menu closed color is white. Burger open color is white. So you can see right here, we got the white lines. So you can set the menu position, menu icon position from the top. See, I moved that there. That's the menu. So I'll set it to the middle right now. You can change the line width if you want it a little bit wider or not. You got the line height. See that there, how it's getting thicker? So don't take your eyes off the menu. <laughs> and you got a lot of options to edit this. Burger menu text. So we can add some text right here. So let's just say we put menu, right? Just let me show you what that looks like. Just wait for it to load. It's going to say menu. Shit, it's a menu. I think it's, it's hidden right there. So from left to right, let's move it a bit. All right, so there's a menu. You can see that there. Move it to the center. I can put it, whoops. I can put it right here on the side if I want it to say menu, but in this case, I don't want it, so I'll just remove it. But yeah, you can change the font and all that good stuff. Something that you need to know is that sometimes the builder from um, Word, uh, yeah, WordPress, it, you need to refresh it, you need to publish and refresh it in some cases because some of the edits take a while. Um, you can change the menu text color also, the icon color, all that good stuff, the background width, background height, check this. So you can make it a little bit like higher or if you want to make it wider, you can do that there and just move the arrows, make it wider also just to keep that look there. All right. I'm not going to save this, so I don't have any problems checking that out. You got the burger menu background shadow also and all that good stuff. Let's go back. Now we have the inject layouts. I think this is pretty cool. Once you start getting to know how to use it, um, you got to build in your Word, WordPress site over here on Divi. Whoops, that's not it on Divi, I'm out right now. You create a Divi library and you create something that you can put on top of the menu and then the bottom. So in this case, I'm just gonna, just for testing purpose, logo menu. So I created in Divi this, it could be a sign up form, it could be social media icons, it could be just whatever you want to build, you could do it, right? So what's gonna happen if I click here, it loaded this image. So I said logo menu. Obviously you can go ahead and edit this, make it smaller, add something else, and it's also available in the bottom section. So I'll just add this, even though it's not going to look good, but just to give you idea, an idea of what you can do with it. So in the bottom, what I would do is I would add some social media icons. See, it's, it's too big right now. I would add some social media icons and a sign up form. So that would look really cool on this. I'm going to remove these, go back and select. All right, so those are removed. Next thing we have is the menu appearance. So in the menu appearance, obviously you can see I have a purple background because it goes with my site. It's purple, but and you can use black, you can use blue, you can use whatever color. I mean, just say, hey, you know what? I want it black. Click away from it. And now it's black. So you could change those. I also change the font, the size, the way the menu is going to look. So in this case, I have it centered, but you can move it left or right. Menu text colors, change all that good stuff. Menu text, which side do you want it to appear, from the right or from the left? Menu max width, all that good options, go back. You got the sub menu appearance. In this case, I'm not using sub menus, but you can see you can select how you want it to look. So you got all these options. Let me go back and you got the bottom navigation settings. So if you're using the bottom navigation settings from this menu, from the style over here, if you're using this, then you got the additional menu options for this. Now you can see uh, mobile DB looks really good because it gives you a different kind of look. It doesn't look like these normal sites. Uh, let me think of a site that I built. And this is what I have in, in this site, right? So it's a normal header you have right there. Obviously you can make it look nice on Divi, but it won't give you the flow that you can get with Divi mobile. So you get a much better flow, a much better look. Even if we look at this on mobile, let's go to inspect. And there's the mobile view. So look, check this how nice it looks, right? People are gonna click on it and they're gonna see this nice menu instead of the other one. So I think it's a pretty good option. It's, it's I don't think it's really expensive, uh, especially if you get the unlimited size, you just forget about worrying about paying for each side and stop worrying that you have to pay annually. So I think it's a really good option if you guys are interested in getting that really cool look for your site. Well, all right, guys, that is Divi Mobile. And if you guys want to check out the deal, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.